What's going on everybody? Out here uh, messing around in the garage. Got a little cheap little Vivitar camera, so no idea how the quality on this. It's more just to kind of play around with because it's got a flip uh, screen that I want to try and mess around with. But to the point of the uh, the video. If you watched my video last week talking about making a uh, mask for my tomahawk here, came up with the you know I had the little scraps. Uh, and came up with a rough design but now we're going to talk about the tools so I got a couple things off Amazon I'm going to use my hatchet here or tomahawk cut open the uh, tape you know it's overkill but hey it's fun so what I did is as I said if you don't know H&X Media please go check them out he's got some great stuff and a great series going on uh, with toolkits uh, for uh, leather working and stuff like that. So what I ordered off of Amazon was a leather tool kit and a speedy stitcher. So a lot of us have the, uh, the old Swiss Army knives and everything like that. I got this one from a good friend Redneck Renegade. And it's got this little doohickey on the back. Nobody ever really knows what to do with because it's not really sharp uh, and whatnot. But basically, what it is, it's an awl that you can use as a manual speedy stitcher. Just a FYI for you if you ever wanted to know what the point of that little uh, that little blade is. So let me get the camera turned down and I will uh, go more in depth into what I got. All right, first things first. This is the Speedy Stitcher Sewing Awl. Uh, a lot of us have seen these over the years. They've been around forever. Uh, I'll do a more in-depth video on it. Plus there's a million of them on YouTube. But then, as far as the actual tools and everything, I wasn't really sure what to get. So I just ordered a full kit from Amazon. And let me get the uh, the manual here so I can tell you exactly what comes with it. All right. Okay, first things first. Comes with a pair of scissors. Okay, there we go. There's some more. These here are uh, scratch wire wheels. Now these can, you can use for uh, when you're setting your spacing with your needlework. Uh, there is a set of needles right here. Comes with a multiple uh, collection of different awls that you have. Some are pointed just like this. Other ones have uh, little holes for their sewing or little hooks to be able to pull stuff through. Uh, what's come on the back side here? Hmm. The adjustable groover. Now this here is for when you are setting your stitch line along the edge of your project. Uh, comes with some nail files. Not really sure on that one, but hey, you know what else? Uh, five different colors of wax th thread. Uh, finger cots, aka thimbles. Tape measure. And they say there's a okay. They call this. They say that this is a thimble. Not 100 percent on it, but hey, what else? Uh, wood daubers for your uh, for your dies. Beeswax for waterproofing. Uh, where to go? 
had a blue thing, but I lost it. Oh, there it is. This is a what's called a wrapping scraper. Not really sure. This is a leather edge skiving tool. Two ways leather glue tool for cleaning glue from leather and nails. Okay, all right. And then a wood burnisher. Uh, for this, you run the edges in here and it kind of cleans them up. So, let me get the camera turned around. All right, so that's a real quick look at the tools that I've gotten. Uh, so hopefully, on our next step of this project, I'll actually start doing some actual cutting and going from there. Talk to you guys later.